Hey there, Dragon Ball fans and fighting game enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the latest buzz surrounding Bandai Namco Entertainment and Spike Chunsoft's highly anticipated title, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. With a mixture of excitement and a hint of disappointment, there's a lot to unpack about this upcoming game. So, power up and get ready as we explore everything from gameplay mechanics to character rosters and even some development challenges the team is facing. No local co-op, a disappointing revelation. First up, and perhaps the biggest shocker for many, is the announcement that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero will not include a local co-op mode. Yes, you heard that right, no split-screen battles from the comfort of your couch with friends or family. According to a revelation by launch on Twitter, producer John Furutani cited not development hurdles, but rather the intricate certification processes with Sony and Microsoft as the root of this decision. The team is exploring solutions, but as things stand, split-screen co-op is off the table. Dragon Ball GT characters to join the fight. On a more positive note, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is set to delight fans by incorporating characters from the Dragon Ball GT series. Whether these GT favorites will be part of the base roster or offered as DLC remains to be seen, but their inclusion is sure to stir excitement. Additionally, the game promises to feature various fusions, such as Gojta, Vegito, and Gotenks, alongside a comprehensive story mode that aims to evolve the narrative experience from Tenkechi 3. Visual and Gameplay Enhancements The visuals in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero are reportedly receiving a significant upgrade. Early criticism of character designs, particularly hair, has been taken into account with improvements made accordingly. Furthermore, the development team is focusing on enriching the backgrounds to offer a more immersive fighting environment. An interesting tidbit is the inclusion of dynamic character outfits that deteriorate during battles, adding a layer of realism to the high-octane action. Fights are also expected to be lengthier, promising a more fulfilling and intense combat experience. More trailers and features on the horizon. For those hungry for more details, the producer assures that several trailers are in the pipeline, each set to showcase new features of the game. This includes the introduction of characters from the Dragon Ball movies, potentially extending up to the likes of Gohan Beast. It's a move that aims to create a diverse and engaging roster that appeals to fans across the Dragon Ball universe. Artwork and Style Lastly, the game's title artwork has been completed and is said to follow the iconic style of the series' original artwork. This attention to aesthetic detail demonstrates the development team's commitment to honoring the rich legacy of the Dragon Ball series while delivering a fresh and visually stunning gaming experience. Wrapping up. While the absence of local co-op in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero might be a letdown for fans looking forward to duking it out with friends at home, the inclusion of Dragon Ball GT characters and the promise of enhanced visuals and gameplay elements keep the hype alive. As we await more trailers and updates in the coming months, it's clear that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero aims to be a significant addition to the fighting game scene and a worthy tribute to the Dragon Ball saga. So, what do you think? Are you excited about the GT characters joining the roster or are you disappointed by the lack of local co-op? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gaming news and reviews. Until next time, keep your power levels high and may the best fighter win.